hi you guys we are back again with another tutorial today we'll be doing a quick weave mohawk this is a very simple quick and easy style so let's begin today i will be using my all-time favorite the velvet tara 246 so my client is already prepped and all i did was use a hd stocking cap to protect her head around the perimeter i went in with my 30 second bonding glue to make sure the cap stays down and that it doesn't roll up in the middle I did apply my Robert Diamonds protective shield this is going to help create a barrier so that she gets a long-lasting wear out of her quick weave and sometimes depending on the condition of the weave you can take it off and reuse it after it begins to lift you can take it on off if you ever did a alopecia clamp before you know it's hard to keep the weave on their head all because they do not have any hair but she shaves hers off so she is completely comfortable with this and this doesn't harm her scalp at all Right now, I'm going to go ahead and begin applying my tracks. I did stretch my hair prior to this, and you guys already know if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I like to stretch my hair before I put it in. And this is the two inch out of the 246 box. And if, you've, if you're new to the channel and you've never saw this, please go to my previous videos that I upload and I've shown you, you guys plenty of times how I prep my tracks so just for this tutorial i'm going to put in some guidelines with the glue this is going to show you where the the area where the mohawk will be and this pretty much serves a guideline so that you know where to lay the tracks on the side now i am going to go ahead and speed up the video all i'm doing is laying the tracks and you can pretty much kind of follow where i'm going with this but i am using the two inch on the sides i'm going to use all of the two inch out of both boxes of the tara Okay, whenever you're doing the sideburn, just cut a little piece. And all I do is I put that little piece down there because I like the sideburns to be a little bit longer. And you don't want it to be too short either. But I'll do this um, maybe like two tracks or so. But it all depends on your client's head and how much hair that you need for the sideburn. And you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side as well and another thing that i like to do i like to keep all of the track i don't 
subtract one side of the head and then go to the other side if you notice I'm going from side to side and I do this because I like to keep everything even and you also have to remember that you do not have a lot of 27 piece hair so you don't want to run out so I go from side to side to keep everything even because I do not want to run out of hair and I want to make sure that everything is symmetrical on both sides Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and shave down the sides. I like to go ahead and do this because I want to see where the tracks are laying and anything that I need to cut, I like to go ahead and cut it. And another reason I do this is because the tracks in the middle will lay slightly about a half an inch on onto the hair on the sides, but I'll show you that in just a few. But go ahead and shave down the side. And of course, like I tell you guys, I like to take the um, the guard off of my razor. Do not do this if you do not have that much experience. I like to do this because I like to get all of the usage out of my blade. And you get a closer cut and I have more control when I do this. But please, 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 please be careful when you're shaving down the side of your client's head.
do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin laying down my 6 inch tracks. You're going to use out of the first box you will use your entire 6 inch down the back and out of your second box you'll use that entire 6 inch in the front.
And this is pretty much the finished style. All you have to do now is just comb everything in place and see how you want to lay down the hair. But this style is very, very quick and simple. And you can do this on yourself, make it as a wig, however you want to. But all you're going to do is just use your rake comb to kind of style it and, you know, show your layers. And you can, you know, have the front as long as you want to maybe you can spice it up with some highlights but she likes it fairly simple but this is it i love the tie right here because it lays in place the client don't have to worry about doing a lot of curling so yeah make sure you try it and send your photos to me i love to hear from you guys thank y'all so much and until the next time be blessed